My name is Bob Rossi. I'm the Executive Director of the New York Sustainable Business Council, and I'm here with Senator Rachel May, who represents the 53rd Senate District, which includes Syracuse and surrounding communities. She currently chairs the Senate Committee on Aging and the Legislative Commission on Rural Resources. She also sits on the Agriculture Committee and the Environmental Conservation Committee, among many others. She previously had a, su a successful career in higher education uh, with 15 years of environmental sustainability work at Syracuse University and SUNY ESF. Thank you for making the time for this interview today. My pleasure, Bob. Thank you for inviting me. Absolutely. So it's been 50 years since the first Earth Day when people across the US came together to uh, rally for a healthier world. And now more than ever, um, amidst this unprecedented uh, crisis, uh, more people are turning to their natural surroundings for calm and for their health. So taking a step back here to recognize the 50th anniversary, can you share what Earth Day means to you? Sure. So Earth Day in 1970 was a very big deal for those of us who remember it. Uh, we had the feeling that the planet was on fire. There were, there were rivers that were literally catching fire because they were so polluted. And uh, smog was intense in a lot of American cities. And uh, there were oil spills along the beaches in California. It was pretty dramatic. And so people came out to really stand up for the natural environment and had a huge impact. The EPA was created, the Endangered Species Act, all kinds of things came out of that. So 50 years later, we have a more insidious and uh, invisible enemy in climate change and land use change and the huge amounts of waste that we're generating. And we need to do something about that. And so it's a little bit harder to get people motivated to, to fix things that are harder to see. But I'm kind of hopeful now in, in, at this moment during the pandemic when so much is um, sort of calmed down and suddenly we see that people in India who can see the Himalayas from their cities and they hadn't seen them in 30 years or in Wuhan where they're talking about seeing blue sky for the first time in a long time. Mm -hmm. the, my hope is that people are really rediscovering how important it is that we have that sense of stewardship about the, the natural environment. And, and it makes us willing to pause a little bit and reflect about our relationship to the earth. So I think Earth Day coming in the middle of this crisis is kind of a beautiful opportunity. Um, well, you've been a, an environmental champion. Um, what environmental policy are you most proud of or what policies are you most excited about accomplishing in the near future? Last year we passed the Climate, and, Climate Leadership and Community Protection Act and I was at the table helping to shape that act and I was very proud to be able to go down to New York City when uh, the, the governor and Al Gore signed it into law. It was an exciting moment. But it was also just a first step. We have to do a lot to implement that legislation, which includes spending a lot of money. There is money in the uh, Restore Mother Nature Bond Act, which if voters approve it in the fall, that'll give about $800 million to start really working on that. And, and so I'm excited about that. I have some other legislation. I have legislation for climate education in the schools, which is kind of personal to me because I taught uh, about climate change for such a long time. And one about the uniform treatment of waste. So uh, right now, fracking waste and waste produced from, from energy production is exempted from rules about the definition of hazardous waste. And this would close that loophole and allow fracking waste to be considered hazardous waste so that we can't bring it into New York State and continue using it in landfills or even just trucking it through the state because an accident could be really catastrophic. With a, uh, Rolling Stone had a really scary article about how much radioactivity there is in fracking waste. So I'm proud of that bill. I'm hopeful 
that will move that this year. Well, thank you for that work. Um, we, on behalf of New York State, uh, greatly appreciate it. And uh, thank you for, again, for taking the time today. And I hope you have a, a happy and positive Earth Day. Same to you, Bob. And thank you for the great work you're doing, too. Thank you.